Hi you guys, welcome to today's video. I thought that today we would just take it easy. I know a lot of you do um, reset Sundays, skincare Sundays, self-care Sundays, and I thought that was just the perfect theme for today's video. I don't really have much makeup on. I've been gone all day. And I just thought I would come to you today without all the hoopla, without all the makeup on. And just, we would just have a casual Sunday. Today's all about a massive haul that I have. And I just wanted to share those products with you. It is a collective haul. And I'm done hauling, okay? I'm done hauling for the rest of the year, hopefully. Well, that's not true. That's not true. I do have my eye on a couple more things. But after that, I'm done for the rest of the year. So if you're interested in seeing the items that I have in this massive collective haul, then you already know. Keep on watching. Okay, so like I said, we have no makeup on. I washed my hair and I just left it in twists. You guys, I used to wear my hair like this all the time. When my hair was longer, I would wear it in twists 24 seven, just so carefree. And this time when I washed my hair, um, I knew it wasn't gonna be dry the next day. So um, I normally twist it, so I just twisted it into a style and I just left it. It's not as long as it used to be, but I don't care. I just left it up like this and I've been living my life. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, when I have uh, my hair twisted like this and I wear it like this, I think it's just a two for one. You can wear a twist with your twist in and then you can also take the twist out and wear a twist out. So it's a win-win for me. But that's not what today's video is and I really, really have to stay on task because this is a long one. I don't even know where to start. So we do have some things already out. So I guess I'll start with that. This is a product that hasn't worked for me yet, <laughs> but I'm hoping that it will. I saw this at Ulta, and this is the Falscara, um applicator. This is the package that it comes in, and this is actually the app applicator. It's for applying your false lashes. You know, I buy anything and everything to help me put those lashes on. But like I said, I don't have the hang of this yet. You know, the glue keeps sticking to it. So I don't know. We'll play with this a little more. But that's one thing I wanted to share with you in today's haul. Let's see. I have a whole bag of... I don't want to share that yet. Oh, I don't know what... I don't even know what I'm going to share next. Because I'm telling you, this is all over the place. Okay. Let's just talk about some things I got from Ulta. I did pick up the 70 jumbo size cotton balls. Um, this is the 70 count, and this is by Ulta Beauty. Just some regular, regular cotton balls. I actually picked these up for Lucky <laughs> because when I clean his ears, you know, I put the little solution in and I used the cotton balls and we ran out. And I just happened to see these in Ulta and it just jogged my memory that I needed cotton balls. So I just picked these up from Ulta. So these are for my baby boy and I'm sure I'll get some use out of them too, but mainly I picked them up for him. Yes, I did. <laughs> the next thing I have is my favorite sheet mask. These are by Neutrogena and they're the Hydro Boost Hydrating 100% Hydrogel Mask. And this mask does have hyaluronic acid. It says it instantly quenches skin, deeply hydrates and leaves skin supple and hydrated. And I can attest to that. These are the two masks right here. And I did a self, no I did a Mask Monday I think using these masks. And I like them so much. I mean, my skin was so smooth for the rest of the day. And it has so much essence in the bottom that I just kept using the essence every day. Every day, I would just pour some of the essence out and I would put it on my face in the morning. And my face just felt so good. So this obviously has made an impression on me. So if you're 
interested in trying a face mask, I highly recommend this one because like I said, if I repurchase not one but two, then you know they have to be good. I don't even know where to put this stuff that I'm hauling. Okay, next up, what do we have? Oh, let me share with you. Speaking of lash applicators, I want to share with you some lashes that I picked up. Yes. I did pick up two um, pairs of lashes by Ardell. And these are the Ardell Wispies. I already opened one to take a look at it. Now, this is not what I thought they were going to be. You know, the picture made them look so baby small. And even looking at both of them side by side, they don't even look the same. But this is what they look like. They're supposed to be kind of like little baby wispies. And, you know, that's what I was looking for, something really small. And maybe once I put them on my eye, they won't seem so big. But this is what they look like. It looks like they, um, well, I was going to say it looks like they flare out at the end. But this one right here, I don't know. This one looks like it, I don't know. This one looks more like it's going to flare out. Uh, but like I said, they don't even look the same. But I'm going to be trying these out because I just didn't want those long, thick lashes. I just, the ones that I've been wearing, they're not bad, but... You know, kind of over them. And I have one more pair left that I haven't even touched. And so, again, these are both supposedly the same lashes. I brought two of them. So, we'll be giving these a whirl. I brought these from Sally's. Sally's uh, Beauty Supply. And then in my own HEB store, somebody, one of the ladies at the store told me this was, uh, I guess, a HEB brand. And I brought some lashes, and these are just what I'm looking for. Um, I don't know who this is. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Diosa. I guess. Diosa. D-I-O-S-A. And it says Goddess, Goddess Lash Collection. And this is the Iris Artificial Lashes. And it says that they are vegan. Oh, so let me first say that with these lashes... They're, they have glue included. Um, they have the duo adhesive included in these lashes by Ardell. Now these right here, these do not. But let me show you these. Look how wispy and look how unassuming these are. Okay, here we go. I was so excited when I saw these lashes. I was like, these are just the ones I've been looking for. Look how minimalistic these are. These are so natural, not thick, not heavy looking. Oh, you can, I know y'all can hardly see them, huh? Oh, I just think that these are going to be the perfect lash. They're so unassuming. I think that these are just going to be a great lash. So I picked these up. I picked up two pair. And every day that I go to work, I think about picking up another pair. However, I'm going to see how these actually look on the eye. And if I like them before I go ham and buy them up. But I did buy two pairs of these. Um, next, I bought for me a Tree Hut Cotton Candy Shea Sugar Scrub. So in the winter time, especially, I need a scrub because like I said, my skin can get so dry and I notice it especially on my legs and my ankles and my feet. I do have one scrub that I'm currently using from time to time and that one is from Bath and Body Works, but I've never tried one from the Tree Hut. So this is it. It just looks scrumptious, <laughs> but this is the Cotton Candy Shea Sugar Scrub. Let's see what else. Oh, let me talk about these. Now, you know, my one of my favorite eyebrow pencils is the Huda Beauty eyebrow pencil. And I remember telling you guys that I would repurchase 
if they had a sale because I think this eyebrow pencil was $17 or $18. And I said if they had a sale, I would repurchase them. Well, lo and behold, <laughs> they had a sale and they have a good one. I was on Instagram, I think it was, on Instagram, and I saw that these eyebrow pencils were $10 each. I couldn't believe it. I hurried on over there to the Huda Beauty site and I put three of them in my cart and I just can't believe I got them for $10 each. I got this in the shade, okay, I have the shade 7 Black Brown and that's normally what I use as a black brown eye, eyebrow pencil. So yeah, I got three of these for a steal. Let's see, what else did I pick up? I have something that I've already taken out. You guys, so I'm not going in any particular order. I'm jumping from Ulta to Sephora. I'm not going in any particular order, but let me tell you about the next item. I think I had it in the video, What's in My Shopping Cart. I think I had this item, and it is the Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. This is it right here. And you guys, I told you, this is in the shade D150. And I told you guys that I had purchased this before. No, I had a sample of this before. And I really liked it a lot. So I went ahead and just picked this up in the full size. But because I think when, when it was in my shopping cart at Sephora, it was $11. But you guys, they dropped the price down to $4. Y'all, I couldn't wait any longer, so I hurried up and checked out with this in my shopping cart, and I'm so happy to have it. Looks so small, though. It is one fluid ounce. So I have a new foundation to add to my collection. It's not really new because, like I said, I had a sample of it before, and um, I really liked it a lot. So I got so this time Sephora matched me to a different shade, and I was kind of confused which way to go. But I was like, well, you had the sample and you liked how it looked, so just stick with that. But I'm curious if, if this is really as good as I thought it was, or maybe I thought it was good and the shade was good and it wasn't. I don't know, but I have it now. What's this? Oh. So I picked up from the, uh, so, no, the, Ulta Beauty two for two for one sale. I went ahead and picked up two of my Mac Fix Plus. They had them in the little mini. So I went ahead and picked two of them up. And they're so cute, you guys. <laughs> I do like fix the Mac Fix Plus. I really do. So I have the this one. I have two of these. Now tell me, this is not perfect to put in my purse and carry to work. I am so thrilled about this. I'm so thrilled about it. So I brought two of these. And that this was the buy one, get one free um, for the in-store pickup. So I have two of these. Oh, and what else I picked up? Y'all know, if you know me. I picked up the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, one and two. Buy one, get one free. And y'all know this is one of my favorite cleansing balms. But y'all, I got to tell you, this is a close tie now. I have been using the e.l.f. Cleansing Balm. I got it in a Trend Mood box maybe last year, and I never touched it. And I love it. It is so good. So this... I don't know. You know this is kind of costly. And the e.l.f. one is $11. It's in my um, Ulta shopping cart right now. That e.l.f. one is good, y'all. If you're looking for a good cleansing balm, the e.l.f. cleansing balm is good. So this, after I use up all of these, I'm, I may just be sticking to the e.l.f., honestly, because it is good. And this, you know, this is wonderful as well. But... I, you know, if I'm putting it up high with this, I might as well pay $11. So, yeah. I love, 
I love these, but the elf is giving this a run for its money. I brought another mascara, and I've already used this mascara before, and I loved it. So this is by Lancome, and this is the Monsieur Big Mascara. I picked this up. It says it's up to 24 hours wear, 12 times more volume. And I believe it because my lashes look good when I have this on. And this is what the packaging looks like. I love this mascara. So I'm happy to have this in my collection again. Oh, when I picked up the Bite Beauty, I almost forgot, I forgot about this. When I picked up the Bite Beauty mascara, I think I had this in my shopping cart also. The video was in my shopping cart. So I went ahead and got the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Pour. So this is to help fill in your pores. So I picked this up. I wanted to try it out. I hope this does my pores good. I saw it and I wanted it. I'm not sure if this was part of the support itself or not. Okay, I have the Lancome Fix It Forget It Setting Spray. I think it was Rachel that was telling me that this was a good one. But I already have my eye on this. And I brought a, just a little mini. This is what this looks like. So this is supposed to be a good one, you guys. If it's saying fix it and forget about it, it says up to 24 hour makeup setting mist with plant extracts. So yes, I picked this up and I cannot wait to try it. Lancome is quickly becoming a brand of interest for me. Oh, okay, it so looks like I used some of my points unbeknownst to me when I picked up the Hourglass foundation um i went ahead and you know they want you to spend your points and they said would you like to spend your points on any of the items right here and i was like oh because i am so not used to being in a real freestanding sephora that you know i'm still learning the ropes because we just had the jc penny one here i don't even go in that one anymore because they don't have anything up and coming nothing new so I don't even bother with that anymore. I drive like 30 minutes away to the freestanding Sephora. And that's where I was today. I took back the um, concealer by Sephora. I tried it one more time today. And you guys, I just can't get it to work for me. I put it on my eyes and immediately I just had creases and fine lines showing through. So I don't know. It's just something probably not for my mature skin or my mature eyes. I know everybody, well, not everybody, but I know I've seen a lot of videos where people really like it. But for me and my eyes, it just does not work for me at all. So I went ahead and took it back. This is when I went to get the Hourglass Foundation, and this is by Glow Recipe. Looks like I have a brightening serum and a pore tightening toner. So it looks like I used some points for this. I don't even know how many points I use, but it is what it is at this point. <laughs> and I think with my Sephora order, I picked up this one size Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. Just a little sample size heard great things about this brand but I've never purchased anything from them so we'll try this and see how we like it okay so when I did the buy one get one free um, for in-store orders I messed up I chose ship the order and sometimes I thought if I put one in my cart that I would automatically have the other one free and I didn't put another one in my cart so that first order I placed was just a complete mess up so I repurchased those items and I did it the right way and I did it to pick up in store. So let's see what some of these items are. So I have another Josie Marin whipped argon, whipped argon oil body butter. Say that two times. 
So I only got one of them because like I said, I messed up. So I now have a total of three of these. But you know, I'm not mad about that. Looks like I messed up again and I only picked up one of the Seals Booster XL by Lancome. Did I pick up one? No, I picked up two of these. Okay. Whew. So I have two of these. I picked this up in store. So I have two of these. You know I love this uh, eyelash primer. It works so good, you guys. If you have short lashes like I do, my lashes curl up. If you have short lashes, this is a fantastic eye primer. I don't know about any other primers because this is actually the only one that I've used. I'm sure they may have other ones that work great, but I know this primer here works really good. So I highly recommend this. I have repurchased that primer over and over again. Oh, let me show y'all what I have. I'm so happy. <laughs> I have the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I wanted this one and the Makeup Forever one. Those are the two that I definitely wanted to purchase this year when they came out. I have the shade Bellum, which is a medium deep 3.6. I think it's called Bellum. And it's so funny because I thought... I was another shade because I had a sample. Um, I forgot the shade that I thought I was, but apparently I'm not because I swatched this in store. So this is it right here. I can't wait to put this on. I cannot wait. I'm getting darker by the minute though, y'all. This sun, <laughs> this sun is not playing. So hopefully this this looked good when I swatched it in the store. I thought, oh, I thought I was the shade Macau because I had a sample of another foundation and Macau was my shade. So when I swatched Macau in the store, I was like, whoa. I said, this is definitely not my shade in this. And this uh, Bellum works so much better. So I, hopefully this still works. Hadn't been that long ago, so hopefully it still works. Okay, here's another item that I had in my cart, I believe. Yes, in my Sephora cart that, you know, in the video. And this is by the Inky List. This is the Collagen Peptide Serum. And it says it's best for normal skin and it helps to plump skin. And has the little button right there that says, um, and it helps to treat skin. So it says, how to lay your products you clean hydrate and treat and then you can go in with your collagen peptide okay and it says how to lay your items it says that you step one is clean step two is hydrate step three is treat and it says you know you can use your toner after that your exfol fol exfoliating treatments after that then you go in with your collagen peptide serum then you can also use your eye treatments. Step four is to moisturize. And step five is SPF. So this is really a good tool to use for your skincare routine. Um, just make sure you're following those steps. And I think you should be okay. Okay, just comes in a little bottle like this. The Inky List. They're very minimalistic also. Seems a little liquidy, so I can't wait to try that. Anything with collagen in it, honey, I'm all for it. I am all about it. Next is the item that I had in my cart forever at Ulta, and this is by Good Molecules. So I've never purchased anything from Good Molecules before, so this is my first item. And this is the um, Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum comes in this kind of package looks like already automatically I see that you can use it day and night it says a.m. and p.m. has a pH level of 5.5 and the directions are to shake well before use apply on cleansed skin allow to fully absorb before applying additional serums face oils or moisturizer 
and it says it's suitable for daily use. So I did buy this to kind of treat or, yeah, to kind of treat my hyperpigmentation. I'm trying to see if I can lighten that up. Um, right now, I'm kind of thinking it is, you know, lightening up right now with the products that I've been using. But I'm not sure. It could just be my imagination. But I did want to try this to see. This is what the packaging looks like. So I'm anxious to try this. And like I said, I've never tried anything from Good Molecules. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, I'm almost to the end of this one bag. Okay, another product that I picked up. You guys, I am not buying any more concealers this year. Not one more. I mean that. Because I have another one right here. How many do I have? I don't even know if I have them all in here. I know there's one in the bathroom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And then what's in my caboodle? I probably have 20 concealers, you guys. I will not buy, be buying any more concealers. I will not be buying any more powders. And I want to say that I picked up this NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. And the fact that it is a serum, that's what drew me to this concealer. This is in the shade. They do need to work on the shade range. I can tell you that right, from, right off the bat. Um... I don't know what shade this is in. It doesn't say here. Oh, Deep Golden. That's the shade I have, Deep Golden. So I picked this up. Cannot wait to try it. Can't wait to try this and see how this performs. But um, just sounds so nourishing for my under eyes because it is a serum. So I wanted to try it how I liked it. Haven't heard very many people talk about it, so I don't know if that's a good thing or if it's a bad thing. Okay, so I did want to talk about some items that I received. Let me get them. Okay, so for these next items, I couldn't remember if I was missing something, so I had to go watch Julia's video because she got the same box that I did. And yes, I was missing a couple of items. So the next items I want to talk to you about are the items that I received from the Juvia's Place Mystery, the Summer Mystery Box. And I did do a whole video on it, but I just thought I would include it with, you know, this haul. So one of the first items that I did receive, I should be all set on cleansing balms for real. I did get the Juvia's Less Melted Off Cleansing Balm. And this is a... Makeup um, Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is what it looks like. I haven't gotten the mystery box from Juvia's Place in a long time. So when I saw this one come available, I just thought I would go ahead and pick it up. And I do like how it has Juvia's Place right here on the lid. And then this is the actual cleansing balm. So it has this little spatula. Just checking to see if it has a fragrance and I don't smell anything. Does have a bit of a yellow tint. Little light yellow tint. So again, nothing new here. Just a cleansing balm by Juvia's Place. This is part of their skincare line. So I am happy to have this product. And I did receive some lashes and they were out of this world, y'all. <laughs> There were lashes that I was never going to wear. So I sent them out to Gigi. Gigi Loves Beauty. I knew I was never going to wear those lashes. And I knew if anybody could pull those off, it would be Gigi. <laughs> so I sent those items. I sent her some items. And those lashes were part of the items that I sent to her. So I'm sure she is going to rock the heck out of those. And I also have the 
Juvia's Place, the Nubian Glow Lip Balm. I've already been wearing this, and I do like it. It feels really nice and nourishing on the lips, keeps them hydrated. So I have been using this already, um, and this is in the shade Guava. It's just your typical little applicator right here. You can see I've been you can see I've been dipping in it. <laughs> I like this. And then lastly, I received a palette. This is a palette that I have never had. You know, I had a lot of Juvia's Place palettes and I ended up decluttering them because I just wasn't ready for that kind of color story. But I've never had this one. And this one, I think when I do my Shop My Stash next month, I'm going to include this palette. And this is the Magic Mini Palette by Juvia's Place. And these colors actually, and these shades actually look like something that I could work with. Something that's not really those colors that Juvia's Place is known for. So I, I just think this palette is beautiful. This is what the shades look like. And of course, um, the same as the outside is what's on the inside. It doesn't have a mirror. But these just look like shades that um, I definitely could work with. Like I said, these aren't the shades that Juvia's Place is known for. These are dialed back a little bit, and I am so thrilled about that and happy to see that. So like I said, this will probably end up in next month's Shop My Stash because I can really do everyday looks with this palette and just have a little shimmer on my lid, nothing over the top. So I am happy with this Juvia's Place palette for sure and cannot wait to use it. Has a little shade saver. Yes, this probably will go in my shop my sash for next month. I already had this in the drawer, you guys. I was super excited about this. So I'm gonna put this back in my drawer with the rest of my Juvia's Place palettes. There we go. Let's just jump right over here. Um, I don't even know what's in here. I can't remember. Okay, I get the packaging. I don't know if this is supposed to be eco-friendly because I really don't think it's going to protect anything. It kind of looks like a fishing net. But um, I picked this up because Kay's Ways, she had um, a affiliate code for Biosance. And... It was just perfect timing. I was watching her video and she was showcasing some of the Biosance items on her channel and then she had a affiliate link down below. And so, I mean, it was perfect timing because, let me show you. I went ahead and picked up this Biosance Squalene and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen with Broad Spectrum 30. And when I tell you it was such a coincidence, I was just getting ready to check out at Sephora with this same sunscreen in my cart because I had this one and if I can make it through the week with this, it'll be good. I am that low. And I've had this, this lasted me a long time, you guys. I've had this over a year and I use it every day. And this is just my favorite sunscreen to date. And like I said, it's so low. It is so low. And I didn't buy the little um, the little set that she had on her channel. So I didn't know if the affiliate link would give me the discount because I wasn't buying the set that she had. But it did give me the discount. And I was so thrilled about that. And now I have like the jumbo size. And I got it for a good price. As compared to this one. Yeah, so I'm so happy that I got this and got it at a discount. And the shipping was super fast. And I and this is something that I needed because I am almost out of this one. Next up, I did just talk about um, my June, July favorites. And I mentioned um, uh, some candles from H-E-B. 
and I was in there yesterday. This that's how most that's how recent I'm still shopping. Yesterday. <laughs> I was in there yesterday and I saw this beautiful candle, you guys. And I just had to have it. This is called Golden Amber. It says it's a highly fragrance candle and I know it to be true, but it doesn't have any of the notes on here. Oh, let me turn it over. This is a 16 ounce wellness jar of golden amber. Um, nope, doesn't have really any of the notes on here, but it smells so good. This is a two wick candle. Oh, I don't even have it up to my nose, you guys, and I just caught the whiff of it. Oh, this is one of those um, warm fall-like candles. I love those. Y'all know I am so attracted to those scents. I am a warm, fragranced girl. And mm, this smells so good. This is just what it is. I can't pick up anything in it except for the amber. Something else I can pick it up. But I can't tell you. All I know is it smells so good. And I cannot wait to have this in the house. It's not really. I don't know if I would say it's really like a holiday candle. Um, but I do feel kind of fall like vibes from it. But I picked this up. And I'm so happy because like I said. I have so many winter candles. Christmas candles. Um, fall candles. You know pumpkin scented. So I just wanted some everyday candles. And that's why, you know, I've been picking those up lately. As lately as uh, yesterday. Oh, yes. I picked this up at Elton. Now, I have been wanting this for a long time. I missed out when it launched with some foundations. I missed out on it then. Then I saw that it came back with... Um, let me just show y'all. This is the filter effect brush and sponge duo and this is by morphe i have been wanting this brush since it came out with the morphe foundation with shayla wasn't really interested in the sponge but if it's a soft one then that's just a win-win situation but i've been wanting this brush forever and they had it at ulta they had it and then they took they had it with the foundation then they took it away I never saw it again, but then when they repackaged it with the sponge, then it came back on the scene, and I was so excited. I just had to have it. I just like the fact of the flat side of the foundation brush, and this, oh, this brush is soft, really soft. So this is what it looks like. And you guys, it is super soft. Has this flat side here. Flat and kind of dense. Not one of those floppy sponges. And full. And this is the other side. Very nice. And then I have this microfiber beauty sponge see what this is all about never had a microfiber sponge before this feels just like the felt material this is it right here I'm anxious to try this to see what the dealio is how is this supposed to be better I sure am this feels just like felt <laughs> So it has that little flat side right here, but it has a little point where I guess you can get up in there. Flat side, flat side, you guys know I told you in another video, I do like a sponge with a flat side. I think it was when we were doing the um, drugstore makeup and I was using that e.l.f. sponge. Yes, so I am super happy to try these things. And see how they work. This is, if you try to get the brush along, this is the Morphe E63 brush. So, what else did I pick up? 
we're almost done y'all we are almost done next i'm scrolling on instagram and i have been hearing alexandria west talk about melt cosmetics and the gemini palette and i've been seeing i it seems like i've just been hearing about melt quite a bit lately and so i was just like man i don't have anything from <laughs> anything from melt cosmetics and you know melt is expensive so i was like i don't have anything from them and so here i am on instagram because i must have gone to their site now i have cookies installed and so now it's melt 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 all across the screen but i saw that they had this palette for like 20 dollars and when i tell you i jumped on that palette so fast just not even because of the color story which it did seem like it was a good color story I, I had seen people use this palette before and the palette just looks gorgeous but i just wanted something from melt and it does seem like i can use this as an everyday palette as well so i picked up this palette by melt melt cosmetics and i picked up the let's see if i can get the box open I have opened it just to make sure it wasn't damaged. Here it is. Now you got, you just have to admit, this is just the cutest packaging. Isn't that so cute? It says, thank you. We love you. Thanks, Mel. So one of the things I picked up before I talk about the palette, um, in this palette and this uh, blush, I picked up a blush as if I need, won't be buying any more blushes this year either. I'm just like, I, I don't need another thing. But I did pick up a blush. And this is the packaging for it. Very holographic. And this is in the shade Fire Fury. And this is what it looks like. The packaging. And... On the back, it says Fire Fury. Let me show you what it looks like. It's very pretty. And it kind of has a satin finish. And this is what it looks like here. And I will swatch it for you. Oh my gosh, so soft. And this blush, you know I told you guys I was looking for a blush with a sheen. Just for summer, it just looks so nice. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now it makes me wonder, how close is this to the Benefit Cosmetics blush I just hauled? Because as soon as I swatched it, I was like, man, that kind of looks like... So, you know, I hauled this recently. This is uh, by Benefit. This is called moon the shade moon did this look y'all know i have always have, have a thing it looks like the um, benefits blush is a little deeper but kind of still the same color story kind of sort of what do you guys think let me swatch moon this one is silky too but it looks like the same color story but it looks like melt swatches a little bit more deeper they're similar this is um moon and this is the one by melt very pretty i'm so excited to use this gosh look at that swatch okay again this is called fire fury and this thing was i think nine dollars so I was glad that it was on sale. It's a good buy. And then I picked up the palette. And y'all don't laugh at me because I know I cannot pronounce it. Let me just show you the palette I picked up. This is the this is the packaging right here. And this palette was like $20 something dollars. It's the Amor Emeriposis palette. This is the Pressed Pigment Palette. Ugh, look at the carton. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. It's just 
all red inside. Isn't that lovely? And then the palette itself. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful with all the little butterflies on it? Oh, this is stunning. And this is what Melt is known for. They have great packaging. Uh, I was so, when I saw this on sale for $20, I was like, yes, ma'am. Comes with this full size, beautiful mirror. Look at that. And then here are the shades. Ugh, so pretty. Oh, I cannot wait to use this. This may go in my shop, my stash as well. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, yes. So I, like I said, I cannot wait to use this. And yeah, this will probably go in my shop, my stash as well. It's not new anymore, but it's new to me. And I'm just, I, I get excited, you guys, when I get something for a good deal. And that's why rushing out to always get something as soon as it drops. Sometimes I can wait and then catch a good sale on it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, so really, we're almost done now. I'm going to just go over the things I picked up yesterday. And that should be it. Oh, as far as the Melt Cosmetics uh, palette... Um, I'll do swatches when I get ready to use it so you guys can see the swatches. Um, I just had to swatch the blush though. I just couldn't wait. <laughs> okay, so these are the items that I picked up just yesterday. Oh, before we get into those, I want to tell you about a PR giveaway that I won. Um, Y'all know I'm not on Instagram much now. <laughs> I'll jump on peak at something and jump back off. I just, I don't know. Something has shifted, you guys. And I don't have time for anything. Something, and, I, and I've been noticing it. Um, but I just don't have time and I don't know what has shifted. Um, I played three games on my phone. Haven't had time. Um, I My TV shows, I haven't had time. I'm so far behind with my video watching. I watch, but just like Andrea West said, I watch, but I don't leave comments all the time now. I definitely watch, and I definitely give the video a thumbs up. So one of those thumbs up, that's from me, but I may not always leave a comment. Okay, so you probably don't know it's that I've watched, but I am watching. It's just sometimes I'm watching in the mornings as I'm brushing my teeth and getting ready and I don't have time to come. So I'm, I'm so busy trying to rush out the door or I watch when I lay down at night. I Sometimes I nod off, fall asleep, then I pick it back up to mark the next morning. It's just I'm so exhausted. I got a new dose of medication again. And when I was on 50 milligrams, it knocked me out. Take it three times a day. Went from 50 to 100. Knocks me out even more. Take it three times a day. Now I'm up to 150. It's insane. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's insane. So I don't know. I don't know that that really has anything to do with it. But I just know that I don't have time anymore. I don't know what's going on, but I just don't have time for the things. I have too many things and I just don't have time. I I just want, I really want to do Instagram. I want to just spend time with my TikTok. I want to do time with my Twitter account, but I'm, I'm just running out of time. And so anyways, um, Lynette, LBD Beauty, she tagged me in this PR giveaway. And I saw that I was tagged, so I jumped on Instagram, and I was looking to see what I was tagged in. I said, oh, okay. So it was like, she could tag three people, and then I decided to enter to enter the PR giveaway. So she, uh, Lynette tagged me, so um, I jumped on and tagged her back and tagged two other people. And you guys, I won. 
I was shocked. And if anybody's watching from Keeping It Real Fun, they posted me as the winner with that eyeshadow look that we did for Easter. And I was just like, are you kidding me? And so I won PR from it. It's Bell Cosmetics. I had never heard of the brand and I I didn't know, I didn't have any idea. I don't even know if they said it. I don't I didn't have any idea what I was going to receive. And I went to their site because like I had never heard of It's Bell Cosmetics. So I went to their site and I saw single sh uh, shadows. I think they were multi-chrome. Um, j just beautiful single shadows. And I had already said, you know, if they send me some of those, that I was going to send some of them to Lynette. Because that is my dream as a content creator to share the wealth to share the wealth uh, with creators that are up and coming, such as myself. If I ever got PR, you know, like they give you those big PRs, I always said I would split it up and send it to another influencer so they could debut it on their channel while it's relevant, just as I, you know, was blessed enough to do on my channel. So that's always been my thing is to share the wealth with PR. So I was going to, if I got those individual ones, I was going to send some to Lynette so she could, you know, take the shadows and use them on her channel as well as, you know, me using it on my channel. But instead I received this eyeshadow palette. And again, it's by It's Bell Cosmetics. And this is the Cool Summer Press Pigment Palette. And I this is what the outer packaging looks like. And I've got to do a look with this real soon because I've had this palette for a whole minute. Again, the palette has the same case, the same cover as the outer carton. Uh I don't even know where to go with this palette. It is so gorgeous. This is what the palette looks like, you guys. And when I tell you, if you want to see this in action, Lynette with LBD Beauty has already done a look with this palette. Um, I saw one from Dr. Ash in her makeup. She follows Isabel Cosmetics. And she's done a look with this palette. I didn't get a chance to finish watching her video with it, but I know Lynette did it. So if you want to see this in action, both of those ladies have already done a look using this, this palette. And it's just so pretty. Anyway, you guys get the gist of these shadows. I'm sorry I swatched so horribly. But they're very pigmented and I cannot wait to use them. So it's Bell Cosmetics. From what I swatched, these are so pretty. These are so pretty. It's Bell Cosmetics got it going on. So I cannot wait. I'm going to have to do a look with this really soon because I'm supposed to do swatches or something and post them. I'm probably going to do just a full look with swatches. Lord have mercy, I got to practice my swatches uh, with this palette. So I got to get on it. It's gorgeous. So... Lastly, this is uh, these are the items. I, well, some of the items that I picked up yesterday, some of them I already had. One of the things I picked up is another Lifter Gloss by Maybelline, and this is the shade that I got right here. It's just a really, it looks like it's very pigmented, but it's just a sheer wash of color. I thought it would show up more, but it doesn't. I will swatch it. And here are the swatches right here up top. So again, this is in the shade Ruby, 013 Ruby. And this is one of the lifter glosses by Maybelline. I also picked up finally the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream. And I picked up the shade Fruit Snacks. And I never had one of the cream ones before. So this is what it looks like here. 
toe. And I will swatch, oh, that is the one I'm talking about, pigmentation. This is what fruit snacks looks like. So pretty. So I picked this up. I picked um, both of these up from Ulta. And yesterday, you know, when you're just shopping and doing the most, just throwing stuff in your basket because you want to. So I picked up this, um, this product by Milani. It's called the Milani Glow. It's a hydrating skin tint. Um, shade 300 medium tan. It has 29% squalling, and this is what it looks like. Yep, 300 glow. Now, I back to opening up everything in the store. So I did open this up in the store just to check it out. So I would never wear this as a skin tint, really, based on what I saw yesterday. So my plan was to wear this under my foundations. You know, those really matte foundations. I thought this would look so nice underneath, plus giving you a little glow. And one of the foundations that comes to mind is, oh, it's very glowy. So this was my plan. You know, those really matte foundations that you may wear, um, you may want to wear in the winter time, but you know, you feel like you need something more hydrating so your skin doesn't look so dull. Now I feel like I can transition some of these summer foundations that would keep me matte. I can transition and wear them in the winter time and not have to worry about my skin looking so dry, so dull because I need that extra hydration in the winter time. So I think this will make my skin look really nice underneath. So yeah, I wouldn't wear this as a skin tint. I mean, it's just colorless, but I think that glow would be perfect under my foundation. So that's what I plan to do with it. And again, this is in 300 Glow, and this is by Milani. Looks really light on the screen, but you can tell it's just my skin tone. Nothing special. Then, you guys, I picked up one last concealer. <laughs> I feel like a nut even telling y'all. I picked up one last concealer, and that's why I said I'm done. No more concealers. And this concealer is by Milani. I opened it up in the store, and I thought it might be too bright, but... I guess this is just, we'll see. We'll see. This is what it looks like here. That's very bright. But I felt like I have another drugstore concealer that's bright like this. And, you know, it works. Right here. The Infallible. I felt like... This one was kind of bright like this one by Milani. Now I'm looking at it. I don't think it is. It's not. So yeah, this might be too bright. This is the infallible one. And then this one is the Milani. You can see the infallible one by L'Oreal. And that's it right here. And then this is the Milani one in the shade Warm Tan, 160 Warm Tan. So we'll see. We'll see. If it doesn't work by itself, I still have another skin tone concealer that I need to brighten up. So I'll just go in with this one. But I thought this one would kind of break up the monotony of not having any more drugstore concealers. So... Yeah, I thought now I could add another one to my arsenal. I did pick up another palette, too, by Milani. Remember the last one that I got? Um, I did like it, but 
you know, I said I just wish it had some more deeper out of corner shades or out of these uh, shades. It's This one was the Gilded Flora palette. Very pretty palette, but I just wanted some more deepening shades for my outer V. So, next I picked up, because I love the Milani, for drugstore, I love the Milani formula. So now I picked up the Gilded Terra palette. Um, I haven't seen, I forgot her name, but she uses this palette all the time. And she has just done some beautiful looks. So I thought I would pick this up and, you know, add it to my drugstore palette collection. And then lastly, lastly, because it's now 7 o'clock, I have had these in my support, no, my Ulta cart for a while now, but I haven't purchased them. Now, you know, I said when I did my summer proof, sweat proof makeup, routine. I picked up some tips from Faye Lene. She's here on YouTube. And she also put me on to these pigments. And I have three of them. They're by LA Girl. And I have three of them. And they're just um, foundation mixing pigments. So it says customize mix your shade. So I have a white one, and this is supposed to, this is it, this is supposed to lighten. If you have a foundation that's too dark, this pigment here is supposed to help lighten it. You mix it together with the foundation, and it will lighten your foundation shade. I also have this yellow one, and it's, whoa, it says this one can't read this in writing, but I think this is supposed to, um, if you have a foundation that's too cool or maybe too neutral, this is supposed to warm it up a little bit and make it a little bit more warmer. So I picked this one up. And then this one right here, I picked up this blue one. And you can mix this to make your foundation shade a little bit more cooler. You know, if it's too warm, you can make it a little bit more cooler. So I picked up these, and the reason I picked these up is, you know, I do have some foundations that I have to mix, but I feel like when I mix them with another foundation, it changes the formula. So, um, you know, I could have a matte foundation, but I may have to mix it with a hydrating foundation. Well, you know, there goes the formula. Like I wanted a matte, I wanted to wear a matte foundation, but now I'm mixing it with the hydrating foundation. So now it's not going to be a totally matte foundation. So I like these pigments so you can add it in and try to alter or help change the shade without changing the formula. So I got three of these. I picked these up at HEB. I don't even remember how much they were. All I know is that I had had them in my shopping cart for a long time and I was looking at something from um, LA girl and I said to myself I said man I wish they had those mixing pigments and I went to the bottom shelf and there they were and I was just like give them to me I have been wanting these have been in my cart for a long time so I've been wanting these for ages and I was so happy just to see them there and I can't wait to try them because I have quite a few I have such a crick in my neck you guys I have quite a few foundations that I could try to use that with and I'm not going to prolong the video anymore these are if i if i've included everything and i'm not sure because i had a lot of stuff then this completes my haul i hope the video wasn't terribly long and i may try to edit out some of my chit chatting but i just wanted to share with you the products that i have hauled and hauled and hauled some more it's like i have just been on a endless journey to buy up everything since I started getting these for the giveaway, I just, the floodgates just ran open. And I just started buying and buying and buying. To my knowledge, I'm not expecting any more packages. I don't think I have bought anything else. So, yeah. And I'm not, I plan on buying one more thing that I know of. But I think then that will be it. Unless just something comes out and grabs me. Now with 
all that said, thank you guys so much for tuning in to my collective haul. If you did enjoy today's video, please consider subscribing to my channel, giving this video a thumbs up, and ringing the notification bell. It just lets you know each and every time that I upload a video and share the channel because you know I don't mind. And lastly, please know that you're always welcome and wanted here on my channel. And with that said, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, my friends, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.